Okay, this is Alec Kovaleski at Lewis Brown Farm. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how pumps uh, pull up water for irrigation systems out of the ground. Uh, you got three major components that we're going to see in this video. You've got the pump itself here in the center of the video. Okay, and then to the right of that, you've got the pressure tanks. And then to the left, you've got the electrical controller. Okay, so let's assume that uh, we are coming out of the winter and the irrigation system has been turned off and the pressure tanks don't have any water in it. Okay, and we turn on the irrigation system. We're not going to irrigate any crops yet. We just want to fill up the pressure tank. So what's going to happen is the electrical controller here is going to get a reading from the pressure tank. And the pressure tank is empty, so the controller here is going to tell the pump right here to pull water up out of the ground. So here you see this electrical pump here. Uh, it spins a shaft that goes down into the ground that pulls water up out of the aquifer. Okay, so water comes from the ground up through this pipe. It then travels down here, takes this little detour, comes over here, and fills up those pressure tanks. Okay, once the pressure tanks are full, the electrical controller here will then tell the pump to turn off and to stop pulling water up out of the ground because the pressure tank is full. Okay? So now, let's say that uh, someone taking care of some uh, uh, crop out in the field wants to turn on the irrigation. For example, across the street here we see this uh, can yard and there is uh, these irrigation heads here someone turns on the irrigation to irrigate the pots in the can yard okay so what's going to happen is water is going to start leaving the pipe here okay so as water leaves that pipe remember it's coming out of the pressure tank so water's leaving the pressure tank coming back up here and it's going out into the field okay so as water leaves the pressure tank the controller over here senses that drop in pressure okay and then it tells the pump to pull up more water out of the ground because the pressure in the tank is getting low okay and once the pressure in the tank gets full again the controller over here on the left. The electrical controller will then turn off the pump again. Okay, so you got two different things happening. People are opening valves out in the field there that makes water leave the irrigation system. And then over here, you've got the pressure tank going down in pressure and then the two things, the two components working together, the controller on the left turning on and off the pump to balance the pressure in the pressure tank as it's lost to the field. Okay, So when the irrigation stops in the field there, the pressure tank is full and it's not losing water anymore and then the pump will stop turning on and off because the controller can sense that the pressure tank is full. So that's our quick discussion on an irrigation uh, pump system and how it fills and maintains the PSI uh, in the irrigation. Uh, PSI and flow in the irrigation anyway. Uh, but we'll talk more about this uh, soon. We'll catch you later. Bye.